Three, two, one, go. Say it. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, welcome back to our channel. So we are going to do a little garden update. Um, this would be update number three, I believe. We should have had more, but again, we'd be in bad vloggers. Is that not the norm for us? Oh, well. Anyway, so we're gonna show you guys just what we've got right now, um, and then we'll tell yeah. you some more stuff. You wanna start with our raspberries? Yeah, let's start raspberry. with- Raspberry, I don't think we've gotten anything new on the raspberries let's yet. See. So, here's our raspberry plant. Obviously, it's gotten bigger. It's pretty temperamental, I'll be honest. Sometimes when it has too much water, it doesn't wanna grow. Other times, it does. Um, we've had probably about three actual ripe raspberries off of it. As you can see there, some of them have kind of died off. So, we're hoping next year it'll do a little bit better. Hi guys! But that's our raspberry bush. Now go to your zucchini that okay. you're so proud of. So this is my zucchini. Okay, so it doesn't look the greatest at the moment. Some days it looks better than others. We'll have to take a picture and insert it right here. A picture of the zucchini looking good right yeah. here. Yeah, it's for some reason, like I think it's again the water situation where like sometimes it'll get enough water and other times it won't. And so like right now, maybe it'd have been too watered because just the other day it was really perky. Oh, it's dry. Um. It's really dry. Is it? Yeah. So maybe it needs water. But if you look down in here. We do have. Some zucchini growing. Yeah. There's one there and one but starting again, here. But again, like, we're not sure how well it's kind of doing at the moment because I think it needs more water. So these ones here, we kind of don't water as much because we have the sprinkler system here that waters our entire yard, right? So like. He's gonna. <laughs> that is so not cool, Kyle. Me too. So like that, it, he just sprayed the tar out of me. Anyway, so it goes in 360, and we have two of those, and so we let those kind of water it. However, sometimes we have to water it a little extra, like he's doing right now. We should probably give it more water every day. <laughs> yeah. So I try to do that, but sometimes I feel like I give too much, and then other times I feel like it's better. Anyway, so th that goes for that one, and then also the raspberry. Will you go ahead and put some water in the raspberry yeah, bush right, too? Um, and then um, two of our pot, our pot covers are um, not covered, so I think sometimes this needs extra water as well. So we're gonna start next to the zucchini. These are our green beans. Um, so we originally had six green beans, three we bought, three that we had grown. One of them unfortunately died. Not exactly sure what happened, just kind of died off. But the three we bought obviously have like lived. Um, we've got a good amount of, of green beans going. Lots of blooms. This one doesn't have any on it yet, but we have blooms going. Like quite a few blooms there getting ready to go. Then we have our strawberries. Our strawberries have actually produced quite a bit for us already that we've eaten and then obviously having two dogs. Did you really get down in there and show the green beans? Like yeah. really show yeah. them? Like those are some. Yeah, I showed them. Um, so, so our strawberries, our strawberries, we have had quite a few blooms on them. Um, quite a few strawberries have come off of them already. Some ripe, some not ripe because unfortunately we have a kid and two dogs that like to mess with it. Um, but as you can see here, like we have one getting ready to, oh, focus. What's wrong? We've got one turning red right now, but we have quite a few on here. So we've got blooms there, lots of strawberries there. We've got tons of stuff coming up in this one. A big giant bundle there. And some more big ones getting ready to grow right there as well. Our strawberries actually have had quite a few shoots. 
And one of the things we've read is to take the shoots and cut them off or pick them off so that the plants themselves can actually focus on growing the actual strawberries. Now we have ever bearing strawberries, which means um, that they will pretty much bloom pretty consistently throughout the, I don't wanna say year, but maybe summertime. As long as the plant is living, it'll pretty, pretty much consistently grow. Um, versus June bearing strawberries, really only produce one one time and then they're done for so that's our strawberry plant both of these are covered as you can see here we have covers on these and they're doing pretty good then we have these over here so we have our carrots all of these carrots here were planted as seeds from when we put them in when we put all of it together here. These big tall ones were ones that we actually planted in seeds in cups and um, they have grown r rather big. We want to pull them but we don't want to risk pulling the rest of these out so we're just kind of waiting it out. This guy here is our Roma tomato. Um, we grew this one from a seed. It has a ton of blooms as you can see. Let's see if I can get it to focus here. Blooms there. Whoop, focus. More blooms there and there. We actually have a little tomato growing right here. Come on, focus. Anyway, there's a little one there. Um, we had another one. We've got one there. I wish it would focus for you guys. We've got another one right there. Um, we had another one that was bigger, but unfortunately our child touched it and pulled it off. Then we've got, so we had two tomato plants that we purchased. This one is our big beefy tomato. And we had a cherry tomato or a grape tomato plant. However, the grape tomato plant did not do well for some reason. The leaves curled up. It wasn't producing. We're not sure what happened. Maybe it's because we had too much going on in this. Maybe it was just a bad plant. Not quite sure, but unfortunately we did lose that one. However, our big beefy tomato plant is actually doing really well. We have some blooms up here at the top. Towards the center, we even have little tomatoes growing there. We've got one growing here. We've got a set of three down here. Hello, Miss Luna. And for the most part, they're doing pretty good. It's a good, nice size stock. I think this is two technically, but we bought it as one plant. So that is our carrots and tomatoes. No, there's no strawberries. Um, okay, so now there's Mr. Max and Dad and Luna. So now I'm going to move on to this one. Um, this is our romaine, which obviously is big and beautiful and gorgeous. We had a second one. We had two we, others. We had two others. That's right. We because gave one, to a one, one was a double, wasn't it? No. It was two separate ones. We gave one to a friend, and the other we pulled out to have um, and ended up getting frozen. Someone made a mistake. On accident. So it's in our worm bin now. Yeah. So our worms are getting fed from it, which is nice. So we have the big one, which we are actually going to cut off tonight um, because we are having salad. And then we have a bunch of little ones that will hopefully grow really big once we get this one out of the way. Yeah, we're gonna cut it out and uh, we're having salad tonight with it. Yes, which is pretty exciting because this is the first. No, Kelly, this is, would you quit? Go, yep, look, go clean your car over there. Hold on, hold on. Look, right there. Clean your car. Wash that car, girl, wash it. Anyway, this is the first kind of like, like vegetable fruit that we are actually getting to use well, as a family. Using, well, I was getting ready to say, we've been using this one as um, sandwiches. 
for our sandwiches. I have your face in it. But yeah, we've been using darling. it for our sandwiches. There's a lot of bugs that usually come out of them, but that's to be expected when it's outside. But it is really big and beautiful. But now hopefully it'll give these a chance to kind of grow. That may grow back, who knows. You never know. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, okay. Well then we'll just end up spreading out our little ones here. Um, as you can see, we kind of have some small carrots that kind of made it into this one for some reason. Um, so this is the little bell pepper, which isn't doing terrible, but it's not getting quite big enough yet to do anything. These are the two bell peppers that we actually purchased. Um, they're not doing terrible. We've got um, some growing here that's just starting. Let's see if I can get it focused in for you. So there is one that we've got growing. We've got lots of buds on these, on this one. Um, some of them are dying off, I think, because of the heat. Like, that one down there is turning a little yellow and not going to come back. We've got some more up in there. But then we've got this one who also has some yellow ones. But this is the first bell pepper we've got growing right here. It's doing pretty good, too. I'm really excited about it. This one should turn red. Should. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I'll be honest. I'm not exactly sure if they grow green and then turn color or if they turn are the color they are from the time that they grow. I'll be honest, I'll be a little disappointed if this doesn't turn red just because I was looking forward to having the red ones. But if it's green, I mean, it is what it is, you know? So we've got one green one going. Then these are our broccolis. Um, so I'll be honest, the broccoli has been trouble from the start. Um, first they weren't planted in deep enough as seeds. Then we had to plant them deeper and they didn't want to grow. Then we got them in here and they finally were doing well. And we actually had three, I think, at that point. And our dog decided to eat one. Mama. And then, anyway, so I think we had three going at that time and now we only have the two. Um, unfortunately, our puppy Max pulled Actually, no. The, the third one got pulled out by this lovely child right here. Huh, Kelly? Did you pull the broccoli out? You tore it up? No, Max got it. No, the first one you tore up. Then, these actually were looking a lot better. Um, they actually were both growing broccoli. And our dog, Max, actually t ate the broccoli and tore all of it all up. Um, so unfortunately we're out of broccoli unless these kind of come back, which we're really hoping they will. Hopefully in a few months we might have broccoli, but until then we're going to enjoy everything else that we have. Um, we're grateful that we are actually able to grow anything. I know some places that you're not able to, but that is kind of our overview of our garden. We are doing pretty well. Um... Yeah. Um, we're doing pretty good. We're excited that green beans are growing. We're excited as things start growing. And uh, we are looking forward to all of our fruits and veggies. Yeah, it washed away with water, huh? Yeah. So, anyway, uh, that's kind of the gist of everything that we have going on right now. It's very unfortunate with some of the things how we have had to battle the elements of dogs and children to get things um but it is what it is we're doing pretty good kellyanne stop throwing the chalk parenthood this is parenthood um, okay so we showed you the green beans i just picked the green beans this is i'm um, going to show you the bowl full kelly i'm going to show you the bowl full and we're gonna wait and see how many we got. So this is the bowl full. And then we're going to weigh them, not in grams, ounces with pounds. I don't think there's a pound there, but let's find out. Where are you away from? 
I am weighing our green beans. You weighing my green beans? Yeah, look how big some of these are big green beans, huh? Ooh. Yeah. I like the big green beans. I like the green beans. I know, right? I like the green beans. So. Look at my tower is. What do I do? So, it looks like a little under half a pound. Little under a pound? You like green beans? Uh-huh. Yeah? Would you like to eat a green bean? Uh-huh. Okay. Tell me what you think. Okay. This is the first green bean from our garden. Mm -hmm. Um, I like it. So it. I think you got something on there. Nothing. Something I know is green. Does it taste good? Uh-huh. Eat it. Uh-huh. I am. I assume. So, we fix all green things and go just long. Nothing green things. Bye. Tell everyone what you think of your green beans that you grew. Um, Are they good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's tell everyone bye. Bye. See you guys on the next episode. Anyway. So that is all for this update. As we get more stuff growing, um, we'll give you more updates. But until then, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It helps us out greatly. Also, if you don't mind clicking the share button and sharing this with your friends and family, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, otherwise, we'll see you in our next one. Bye. Kelly, say bye. Bye. See you next time.